I'm here today to talk to you about Sudden Sound Stabilizer, which is a new feature in Oticon Real that balances loud and soft sudden sounds. I'll talk about how to fit this feature most optimally in Oticon Genie 2, considering your client's needs and preferences. For many new hearing aid users, the amplification of soft sudden sounds such as keyboard tapping, footsteps or dishes can be difficult to get used to and even sometimes bothersome. Traditionally, to accommodate this complaint, the clinician may go to fine tuning and reduce the gain for soft and often high frequency sounds. The downside of this approach is that it's also likely to affect the audibility of and access to speech sounds. With Sudden Sound Stabilizer in Oticon Real, you will finally be able to tackle this challenge with a solution that does not compromise audibility of speech. Sudden Sound Stabilizer is a new feature that reacts instantly to reduce the gain to the desired level for both soft and loud sudden sounds, and then instantly restore it at the offset of the sudden sound, so that gain for other sounds are not affected. The feature is dynamic, meaning it will only activate when a sudden sound is detected, and the rest of the time it will monitor for the presence of sudden sounds. How people react to sudden sounds can really vary. For example, the sound of a pen clicking might be comfortable for some people, but intolerable for others. In the Oticon Genie 2 fitting software, you will have an incredibly versatile tool available to you that allows you to adjust this feature according to your client's preferences and personal needs. Let's take a look. So sudden sound stabilizer is found by going to the fitting section. And then under fine tuning, you'll find sudden sound stabilizer in this tab here. You may have noticed the location of this feature and wondered why. It's simple. Soft and sudden sounds are valuable sounds that people with hearing aids need access to. They are not unwanted, but they do need to be balanced correctly. Therefore, they're not considered a noise to get rid of, but rather a sound that requires the correct gain dosage. So once there, you'll be able to choose between six settings with Oticon Real 1. Off, low, medium, high, very high, and max. The default setting is medium. When a client is new to hearing aids, the recommendation is to set sudden sound stabilizer to high at the first fitting. This is to avoid overwhelming new users with sounds that were not available to them before. Then at the follow-up visit, it is recommended to reduce the setting to medium and conduct the soft sudden sound test. The soft sudden sound test is not fancy or complex. It simply consists of clicking a pen multiple times, typing on a keyboard and tapping your fingernails on the tabletop. Now, ask the client if the sounds were comfortable. If they were comfortable, the recommendation is to leave the setting at medium. If they were bothersome, it's recommended to increase the setting by one step, repeating the test until a comfortable setting is found. Sudden Sound Stabilizer is a particularly useful tool for hearing aid users with sound sensitivity or decreased sound tolerance where an intolerance to everyday sound causes distress and may interfere with daily activities. For those experiencing sound sensitivity, sounds can be uncomfortably loud, unpleasant, frightening, or even painful. For clients with extreme sound sensitivity, for whom other alternatives are not suitable and comfort is the main priority, the recommendation is to set sudden sound stabilizer to max. This offers a maximum gain reduction of 30 decibels. The sudden sound stabilizer settings have also been optimized for special purpose programs. For the speech and noise program, the setting defaults to high. For the comfort program, the setting defaults to very high. And for the music program, the setting defaults to off due to the dynamic nature of music and the rapid onset of many kinds of musical instruments. Having sudden sound stabilizer off in the My Music program helps to preserve the full music experience. The settings can of course be turned on and customized according to the hearing aid user's preferences and needs. A suggestion might be to ask your client to bring their musical instrument to the fitting, if possible, in order to adjust optimally for their music preferences. For a detailed explanation and guidance to help ease the discussion with your clients about sudden sounds, Oticon has published a white paper on this topic. It has a great section about which questions to ask your clients to help better understand their wishes and preferences. We highly recommend this as further reading. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the Oticon website.